This is going to be a scene of the, the Brecon Beacons in um, South Wales. So I'm just starting off with uh, plain water using the large eight brush on 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper, 130 pounds. And going in with raw sienna, uh, raw maybe a touch of alizarin crimson to it. Bit more. And then clean brush, I'm going ultramarine and burnt umber. Get a really nice dark dark blue. And just brush that in. Get it nice and dark. What I'll do for that. Um, same colours, ultramarine, plains grey. I'm going to come third of the, two thirds of the way down. Just put in the distant, distant hills. More pines. And then there's some nearer ones there. A bit stronger. Maybe a little bit of a reflection. Strong. This is a near a hill now. Then it's about there. Now I'm going to start introducing some lemon yellow. First, I'm just going to pull it tight. See how the paper's stretched. Now I've got a flat surface to work with again. A bit more lemon yellow. A bit of green on that side. I'm going to clean the brush. It's got a bit of a contrast now. So, raw sienna, lemon yellow. Get it nice and dark. And you see, you see some like, it's just a few trees on the top of these hills. You see the trees just growing up in the distance, really helps give a bit of scale to it as well. A few more trees, a bit darker. Yeah, trying to be careful not to go over what I've already done. Very quickly can, uh, can ruin it. So, just keeping it nice and dark in this foreground. And I'm just going to suggest just a few little, um, I could do with one a bit thinner than this actually, but I'm just going to suggest a few little uh, buildings. over there in the distance. Just little tiny little scrapes even there, just it, it just adds a little bit of detail. Just trying to make it look like buildings on the uh, on the horizon. And obviously as they get as they get closer they get slightly bigger. There's, a, there's one just down there. 
Oh, Sienna, lemon yellow, and then just constantly trying to vary it. A bit of light red, light red in there. Pretty much everything I've got on the palette basically, but I'm just, I'm just giving into all of it. Now that's a nice, um, what's that there? And that's where I've touched it with my finger. Just going to put another little ace. I mean, they're not, they're, it just gives the viewer something to think about when they're looking at your painting. A couple of little windows, maybe a door at the front. That's it, just leave it at that. Now, I'm just going to pull that tight again. Cause I'm just going to dry that now. So I'll give any further. to make sure that was bone dry so I want to make that sky a bit darker so what I'm going to do is re-wet it maybe gone a bit too too much there I think And then, now it's wet again, I can go, go right in with these colours. Paint grey, same as we did before. And then really darken it up. 